One day will come. I'm the kind of town. When every day will come. I'm the kind of town. Jesus removes your death. One time Jesus Christ was walking. И вокруг него было много фарисеев. And around Jesus there were many Pharisees. И книжников. And scribes. Они задавали ему разные вопросы. And they would ask Jesus various different questions. Провокационные вопросы. Provoking questions. И он на все вопросы отвечал настолько мудро. And to every question they had he answered so wisely. Настолько красиво. So beautifully. И вот среди этой толпы. In the midst of this crowd. Был один также молодой человек. There was another young man. Он шел вместе с Иисусом. He's walking together with Jesus. Он слышал как он отвечает на слова фарисеев. He heard how Jesus replied to the Pharisees. И он задал Иисусу вопрос. And he asked Jesus a question. Написано Марка 12 глава 28 стиха. It's Mark chapter 12 verse 28. Один из книжников, слыша их прения и видя, что Иисус хорошо им отвечал, when one of the scribes came and having heard the reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, подошел и спросил его, asked him, какая первая из всех заповедей? Which is the first commandment of all? Был, был у вас такое в жизни, что мы живем на этой земле? Have you ever had it in your life that when we live on this earth? И мы иногда задаем себе вопрос. Sometimes we ask ourselves a question. А вот для чего я живу? Why am I alive? Какой смысл моей жизни? What is the meaning of my life? Вот если я умру, if I die, осуществил ли я то, что Бог предназначил, чтобы я осуществил? Did I fulfill what God wanted me to fulfill? И также этот молодой человек. The same way this young man. Он думал, что самое главное в моей жизни? He was wondering what is the main thing in my life? Какой приоритет должен быть в моей жизни? What should be the priority in my life? Вы не поверите, сегодня Ваня тоже про это же самое говорил. And you won't believe this, but Ivan spoke about this already today. про это же самое говорил. And Vladimir, Vladimir also spoke of this today. Иисус отвечал ему. Jesus answered him. Первое из всех заповедей. The first of all commandments. Слушай, Израиль. Is hear, O Israel. Господь Бог наш есть Господь един. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. И возлюби Господа Бога твоего всем сердцем твоим. And you shall love the Lord God with all your heart. И всей душой With all your soul. И всем разумением with all твоим, your mind, и всей крепостью and with all of your strength, вот первая заповедь. This is the first commandment. Вторая подобна ей. And the second, like this, ты просил одну заповедь. Like it is this. You ask for one commandment. Сказать, что есть заповедь, но есть у ней продолжение. But I want to tell you that there is one commandment, but there's a continuation of the commandment. Возлюби ближнего твоего. And the second commandment is you shall love your neighbor как самого себя. as yourself. Иной больших всех заповедей нет. There is no other commandment greater than these. Иисус говорит, это не просто две заповеди. Jesus said these are not just two commandments. Это одна общая заповедь. This is one general commandment. Это большая заповедь. It is a great commandment. Возлюби Господа Бога твоего всем сердцем. 
love the Lord God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself. This scribe did not know who Jesus was. He thought that he himself was so cool. And you know what the scribe said to Jesus? Jesus, great answer. Good answer. Jesus, Good job. I was thinking the same thing. Is that what the scribe answered? Please look. You said the truth. The scribe said, well, said Jesus. You mean, Jesus, you're right. And I think Jesus smiled at him and said, yeah, of course I'm right. Любить его всем сердцем и всем умом и всей душой. To love him with all your heart, all your understanding, all your soul. И всей крепостью. With all of the strength. И любить ближнего как самого себя. And to love one's neighbor as oneself. Есть больше всех жертв и всесожжений. Is more than all the whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Этот человек понял ценность Иисуса Христа. This person understood the value of Jesus Christ. Иисус Христос в 34 стихе говорит. In verse 34, Jesus Christ said. Иисус видя, что он разумно отвечал, when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, сказал ему, he said to him, недалеко ты от царства Божьего. You are not far from the kingdom of God. Или другими словами, or in other words, он сказал царство Божье. Jesus Christ said the kingdom of God. Если ты будешь двигаться так, как ты сказал, if you move in the same direction as you если spoke, если ты будешь поступать, как ты сказал, if you act as you spoke, царство Божье, the kingdom of God, оно будет рядом с тобой, will be near you. The topic of my short sermon today is called It's called He is near you. Who here knows that where the kingdom of God comes the king comes as well. Or where the king comes the kingdom comes as well. And this is why Jesus said and this is why the scribe said when we honor God when we honor God of all the God with all our heart, mind, and strength and our neighbor as ourselves, God will be there for sure and his kingdom will be near with us. Let us give glory to God. Сегодня мы будем с вами говорить об истории, story, которую Петр рассказал всему человечеству. Петр стал пожилым человеком. Петр был очень хороший рассказчик истории. Он был с Иисусом больше, чем трех лет. Он ходил с Иисусом, он ходил с Иисусом, он ходил с Иисусом, он ходил с Иисусом, он ходил с Иисусом. И куда Петр не приходил, no went, так везде люди спрашивали его. Петр, расскажи нам. Peter, расскажи нам про Иисуса. Tell us of Jesus. Как выглядел Иисус? What did Jesus look like? А как говорил Иисус? How did Jesus talk? Какой голос у него был? What was the voice of а Jesus like? А какие были глаза Иисуса? What were the eyes of Jesus а like? А как ел Иисус? How did Jesus eat? Любил ли он только стейк? Did Jesus like steak? Или жареную рыбу также? Or did he like fried fish as а well? А как насчет пельменей? How about пельмени? А как насчет борща? How about borscht? И Петр садился. And Peter would sit down. И он рассказывал ему историю за историей. And he would tell him story after story. Как выглядел Иисус? How Jesus looked? Что говорил Иисус? What did Jesus speak? Как поступал Иисус? How did Jesus act? И только приходил and as soon as he came to a different village again people would ask him Peter tell us of Jesus what is his kingdom like what is he speak of what were his priorities and Peter would again and again speak and speak and speak and throughout 30 years of his ministry Peter would tell people what Jesus Christ was like he reflected him he loved him he acted like him he wanted all people to know what Jesus was like. Peter was not an educated man. He was a fisherman. He knew how to catch fish. He didn't even know how to read. And most likely, he didn't know how to write at all. This is what history tells us. Because 90% of people at their time, they did not know how to write. Even if they knew how to read a little bit, most likely Peter was like this. It did not mean that he didn't know anything. He knew a lot. He walked with Jesus himself. Peter was, uh, Jesus was his teacher. And one time the Romans took him and they put Peter in prison. He was already an elderly man. And they put his trial 
devil into court. И большой царь, очень злой царь Нерод должен судить был его. And an evil king named Nero needed to judge him. И вот там в тюрьме. And they're in prison. Пришел к нему еще один молодой человек. Another young man came to him. Его звали Марк. His name was Mark. И он сел к ногам Петра. And Mark sat at the feet of Peter. И говорит Петр. He said Peter. Скорее всего ты скоро уйдешь на небо. Most likely, very soon you will depart to heaven. Потому что обычно если Нерон обвиняет кого-то. Because usually if Nerón convicts someone. Это смерть. This is death. Скорее всего скоро твоя жизнь на этой земле прекратится. Most likely, very soon your life on this earth will come to an end. Вот мое перо. This is my this is my feather. Вот моя бумага. This is my paper. Расскажи мне еще раз последний раз. Tell me for the last time. Историю для человечества. The history for the story for humanity. Расскажи мне про Иисуса. Tell me about Jesus. Каким был Иисус? What was Jesus like? Как поступал Иисус? How did Jesus act? Что говорил Иисус? What did Jesus say? Что делал Иисус? What did Jesus eat? Какие были его заповеди? What were his commandments? И Писание описывает нам это. And the scriptures describe this for us. Евангелие от Марка. The Gospel of Mark. Кто знает, кто раз читал Евангелие от Марка? Who here ever read the Gospel of Mark? Вы знаете, что Евангелие от Марка? You know that the Gospel of Mark записал евангелист Марк. Was written by the evangelist Mark. Но он записал слова, которые Петр сказал ему. But he wrote down the words that were told to him by Peter. Кто за чего-то нового научился? Who here learned something new this morning? Оказывается, it turns out Евангелие от Марка, the Gospel of Mark, это в общем-то Евангелие Петра. Is actually the Gospel of Peter. Которое он рассказал Марку и Марк просто его записал. That he told to Mark and Mark wrote down. И вот Петр сидит в тюрьме. So Peter is sitting in prison. И Марк спрашивает, запиши мне, каким был Иисус, расскажи мне. And Mark would say, describe me what Jesus was like. И я думаю, что Петр почесал свою голову. And I think that Peter would itch his head. И он говорит, с чего же мне начать? And he was thinking, what do I begin with? Вдруг, если я буду долго рассказывать? He's thinking, what if I share for a long time? И придет приказ от Нерона. And a commandment from Neron comes. И меня просто убьют за имя Господне. And they will kill me for the name of the Lord. Вдруг я не закончу эту историю? What if I won't be able to finish my story? Как же мне правильно начать? How do I begin this story correctly? И вы знаете, как апостол Петр начал эту историю? I know how Apostle Peter began his story. Он начал с самого конца. He began it from the very end. Он не начал рассказывать историю сначала в конец. He began sharing the story from the beginning to the end. Он стал начинать свою историю с конца в начало. Actually, the contrary, he began from the end to the beginning. Потому что он не был уверен, что ему хватит времени рассказать все про Иисуса Христа. Because Peter was unsure that he was going to have enough time to share the whole story of Jesus. И он начал рассказывать свою историю. And he began to share his story. А про Иисуса Христа. About Jesus Christ. И Евангелие от Марка, первая глава, написано. In Mark chapter one it says. А высветьте, пожалуйста, на, на экране. Please put it up on the screen. Mark chapter one. Mark chapter one. Verse number one. Verse number one. Иисус Христос сказал. Jesus Christ said. То есть Петр сказал. Or Peter said. Начало Евангелия Иисуса Христа, Сына Божия. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Son of God. Другими словами, начало благой вести. In other words, the beginning of the good news. Благого послания Иисуса Христа. Of the good message of Jesus Christ. Сына Божия. The Son of God. Я думаю, что там Марк остановил его. And I believe that Mark stopped him in that moment. Он говорит, подожди, Петр. He's saying, wait, Peter. А ты ты точно уверен? Are you sure? Что Иисус, с которым ты ходил? That the Jesus that you walked with. Он есть Сын Божий. He's the Son of God. Он есть Сын Божий. Он есть Мессия. He is Son of God. He is the Messiah. Нет, нет, нет. No, 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 no. Это не для людей. This is not for people. Это я и ты. This is just me and you. Ты рассказал историю многим людям. Yeah, you would tell the story to many people. Ты многим рассказал, какой был Иисус. You told many people what Jesus was like. Скажи, Петр, положи руку на сердце. So, Peter, put your right hand on your heart. Веришь ли ты действительности? Do you truly believe что Иисус Христос that Jesus Christ именно Он есть Мессия? That He was the Messiah. Именно Он есть Сын Божий. That He was the Son of God. Петр улыбнулся. And I believe Peter would smile. Говорит, у меня нету ни тени сомнений. He said, I have no doubt. Это сто процентов это так. Hundred percent, this is true. Но Петр, подожди. No, Peter, wait. Ты же ел вместе с ним. But you ate with Jesus. Знаешь, когда люди едят? We know when people eat. И когда они голодные. And when they're hungry. Одно у них на языке. You know, one thing is on their tongue. А второе, как они поступают. But it's another thing when they act. Я вот когда голодный. You know, when I'm hungry. Не, не попадайся под руку никто. Don't don't cross me. А вот когда Иисус был голодный. How about Jesus when he was hungry? Как он поступал? How did Jesus act when he was hungry? Ну ладно, это с едой все нормально. Okay, yeah, with food he's fine. Хорошо кормят мужчин обычно добрые. You know, if you feed a man well, he's usually kind. А когда вы среди поля шли? But how about you when you were walking with Jesus through a field? When you were catching fish with Jesus? А когда вы ложились спать? When you were going to bed with Jesus? А когда вас не принимали? When people didn't accept you with Jesus? Петр, Петр. No, Peter, Peter. Но между нами. Just between us. Ты ты можешь сказать? Can you truly say что Иисус Христос есть Сын Божий? That Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Я верю, что в тот момент Peter would begin to weep. 
Он сказал, это причина, по которой я рассказываю эту историю. He said the reason why I share this story. В течение 30 лет. Throughout the past 30 years. Причина, по которой я был в тюрьме. The reason why I was in prison for many times. Причина, по которой меня хотели убить. The reason why they wanted to kill me many times. Причина, по которой я нахожусь в тюрьме прямо сейчас. The reason why I'm in prison right now. Потому что я абсолютно уверен. Because I'm absolutely sure. Я видел, как он ел. I saw him eat. Я видел, как он поступал. I saw him act. Я видел, что он говорил. I saw what he said. Я видел, как он любил. I saw how he loved. Я видел, как он прощал. I saw how he forgave. I can surely say Mark Jesus Christ is the Son of God Jesus Christ is the Messiah Jesus Christ is God from heaven absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure of this 100% God from heaven is absolute truth and I'm sure он излословил взаимно. I saw as he who was reviled, he did not revile in return. Mark, я тебе точно могу сказать. Mark, I can surely tell you. Я был там. I was there. Я видел, как его проклинали. I saw people curse Jesus. Я видел, как ему делали боль. I saw people harm Jesus. Но он страдая не угрожал. But he himself who suffered, he did not threaten. Но предавал все, что у него есть. But he committed himself to в руки судьи Божьи. To him who judges righteously. Марк, я хотел сказать. Марк, I want to tell you something. Я хотел Иисуса защитить. I wanted to protect Jesus. Я сказал Иисус. But I said Jesus. Да не будет так с тобой. May this not happen to you. Иисус. Jesus. Мы сделаем свое царство. We will make our Mark, I'm a witness. I took a sword. I wanted to fight for Jesus. Even I cut off an ear of a servant. But I myself am a witness. He did not threaten anyone back. And he gave himself into the hands of God. He said, Father, I give myself for judgment into your hands. Verse 24 says, He himself himself bore our sins on his own body on the tree. And through the gospel of Peter, we understand. Peter did not understand this in the beginning. Когда мы общались с Иисусом, he said that when we had fellowship with Jesus, наша задача была грешников приводить к Иисусу. Our goal was to bring sinners to Jesus. И мы закей привели к Иисусу. And we brought the key to Jesus. И мы видели какие они грешники. And we saw them as sinners. И я думал, какие они негодные люди. And I was thinking they're such bad people. Какие они плохие люди. They're such evil people. Но когда я сам встретился с Тобой, but when I met difficulty myself, когда я сам предал Иисуса, I myself betrayed Jesus. Я понял, что я негодный человек. I understood that I myself am a bad man. Я понял, что и во мне есть зло. I saw that there's evil within me too. И я могу сомневаться. And I can have doubts. And I can betray people. And then I saw Jesus. Not just that Jesus that forgives people around me. But I met Jesus. Who forgave me. Who here ever met Jesus that forgave us? Who here did God forgive today? The Apostle Peter writes that we being freed from our sins would live for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. Am I sure in this? I am sure. 100% sure. Of course, I'm sure. Everyone in the Bible, we have our own story. Someone's story is the story of Bartimaeus. There was a blind Bartimaeus, and Jesus healed him. When David was a little boy, guess what his favorite story was? About David. One time David came back home from Sunday school. Mom, today they were teaching about me. There was David, good man, he made music. Second time David comes from Sunday school. Oh, guess what? They taught us that I killed Goliath. We said, are you sure they taught you this? Yes, they said David killed Goliath. Just call him David if anyone doesn't know. His name is David, if you don't know. He received everything personally. He loved this story. Each and every one of us have our own favorite Bible story. God showed mercy to a girl who was caught in the act of adultery. God healed the lepers. God did his miracles. And oftentimes we ask people, what is the main moment or aspect of the kingdom of God or the coming of Jesus Christ onto this earth? How 
would you respond? Какой смысл христианства? What is the meaning of Christianity? Знаете, как я бы ответил? You know how I would respond? Смысл христианства? The meaning of Christianity Иисус пришел на землю. Is Jesus came onto this earth Спасти нас, когда мы были грешниками. To save us when we were yet sinners. Amen. Amen. Он умер за нас. He died for us. Он пролил нашу кровь. He shed his blood. И если мы поверим в него, and if we believe in him, если мы исповедуем наши грехи перед ним, if we confess our sins before him, он будучи верен и праведен, and being righteous and true, простит нам наши грехи. Will forgive our sins. Amen. Amen. И если даже что-то случится в нашей жизни, and even if something happens in our life, мы не пойдем вниз, we will not go down, а мы пойдем вверх, but we will go up. Мы не будем в аду, we will not be in hell, мы будем с Иисусом. We'll be with Jesus. Это принципы христианства. This is the principle of Christianity. Это смысл, для чего Христос пришел на землю the meaning or the purpose of Jesus coming onto this earth. Amen. Amen. And this is true. There's nothing wrong about this. But if you would have asked Peter, Peter, what is the meaning of Christianity? What is the meaning of the coming of Christ onto this earth? Jesus died so that we could be forgiven and go to heaven. I believe that Peter would have smiled. He said, all of this is correct. But I understood something else. I believe that the meaning of the coming of Jesus, the purpose of Christianity is in this, God became near to man. The kingdom of God became near to man. We could be forgiven, but without God's nearness, this forgiveness can give us nothing. Apostle Peter said that if I submit everything that I experienced, I want to tell you that the kingdom of God когда Бог близко к человеку. Вот почему, когда Иисус общался с тем книжником, и Он сказал, что Царство Божие близко к тебе. Это самое важное для человека. Когда Царство Божие, оно будет рядом с нами. Как появляется Божье Царство? Всегда, куда приходит Царь, туда и приходит Его Царство. Есть Его Царство. His kingdom. It's not the earthly kingdom. It's not the kingdom of humanity. It's not the kingdom of politics. It is God's kingdom. That on the basis of scripture, this kingdom is within us. The co-members of his kingdom. They do not speak French, German, Russian, Ukrainian. Members of his kingdom. Kingdom. They speak one language that is called the language of love. They love one another. They know each other. They cover one another. They encourage one another. They forgive one another. This is the language of his kingdom. I want to say to the people watching us across the globe, to our dear friends watching us in Ukraine, in in China, South Korea, Pakistan. In no way do we support evil. Evil is evil. Crime is a crime. In any instance, war is bad. In every instance, war is wrong. In every instance, abuse is wrong. This is terrible. Apostle Paul пишет. Apostle Peter пишет. Apostle Peter writes. В 14 глава, первый стих. Ой, первая глава, 14 стих. Mark 1, verse 14. После того, как предан был Иоанн, After John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. I believe that when Peter said this to Mark, at first I did not understand. My understanding of a kingdom was the Roman kingdom. A kingdom that conquers. A kingdom that kills. A kingdom that destroys everything in its path. Jesus, what kingdom did you bring? Did you bring a 
kingdom unto this Israel. But when I walked with Jesus, when I heard Jesus, I understood that his kingdom is different. A kingdom that has no beginning and no end. A kingdom that's on earth and in heaven. A kingdom where everyone speaks the same language. This is his kingdom. This is what he brought onto this earth. And this is why Jesus says, repent and believe in the gospel the gospel of his kingdom the kingdom that's eternal we're temporary on this earth no matter how healthy you are no matter how strong you are you are temporary on this earth and I am temporary on this earth but not his kingdom that is within you that is within you and that kingdom that is within us it is eternal and we just go in from one sphere to the next we're just going from from one dwelling place to the next we're just transferring from one territory to the next for the reasoning of his kingdom that is near to us that is within us that is God himself Jesus Christ let us give him the glory we are representatives of his kingdom and in this kingdom, everything is different. Everything is different. In the earthly kingdom, people serve their king. In earthly kingdoms, the king sends people to death. In earthly kingdoms, the king exploits people. But there's a different kingdom. There's a heavenly kingdom where the king himself came on to earth to die for his people. There's a kingdom where the Lord of the universe came on to the earth and he paid a price for you and I. This is his kingdom. This is his kingdom that is within us. We cannot do otherwise. Wise. Because his kingdom is within us. I'm going to be concluding. Mark 1, 16 through 20. And he walked by the Sea of Galilee. He saw Simon and Andrew, his brother. Andrew and his brother casting a net into the sea. Where they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me. And I will make you become fishers of men. And they immediately left their nets and followed him. And when he had gone a little further from there, he saw James, son of Zebedee. And I believe that when Peter was sharing the story, he stopped at this place. As soon as he became talking about James, James became his best friend. Together they ministered to God. Together they would be overseeing the church of Jesus Christ. Something happened to James. 20 years prior to Peter writing this gospel, Roman soldiers took James and they began to torture him for the name of Jesus Christ. The best friend of Peter, he was outpouring with blood. They were abusing him. He was told to deny Jesus Christ. But James, with a smile on his face, he blessed those who would curse him. He would outpour with blood. And they took his life.